Hi ladies, and if there's a single gentleman out there, hi to you too. Welcome to my working table. My name is Lisbeth and I'm a mixed media artist. A couple of weeks ago I released a video where I showed you how to make a simple Constantina book. This book. I didn't finish the back side of it. Um, but now all the pages are completed and I have done the last five spreads. I will show them to you now. Also, I will put a link below in the description box for the video where I made the book. But um, here are the five last spreads. And then back to the beginning. Planning the Constantina book, I did a mistake and made a fall cut. So the measurement flew out of the window. You can see there's a little, little difference in the height of the book. But since I don't like to waste anything, I made a smaller Constantina book and filled it with all my black scraps from my black scrap box yeah my um i have made the whole book except one page and i will do that now this page here and also this book hasn't any hardcover it's just the, the cardstock all the way through so i have decided to give this book a hardcover and i will also show you how to make a hardcover for my blue book to be prepared to make the last page i have already thrown some small bits and bobs out here i have found it in this box here um, so I will just glue them down and give the pieces a finished touch by adding something else, I think. I think I will turn them this way since the other are going that way so they won't look exactly the same. You really have a good opportunity to get rid of some of all your scraps making these small books um, and uh, you also get a great opportunity to practice in making compositions yeah, so i think it's a, a nice way to to use your scraps yeah, that's a little too big so I will just tear a little off. Yeah. <clears throat> no matter how hard I try to get rid of some of all my scraps, I, they keep piling up everywhere. But uh, yeah, I don't think you can avoid that way if you're working nearly every day with something. And you never know if you just is missing a specific little piece so then it's nice to have a scrap box or several scrap boxes 
because in fact I have several of them. This is with all my blue leftovers and I have one with yellow greens and I have one with black and white and one with all my rust colors. So that was the last page and I think perhaps I will make something a line going down in the middle there yeah for this one and I also have a scrap here It is so wide. <clears throat> Sorry. And this here, yeah. That's nice, I think. So this was, yeah, the last spread. As you can see here, the first page is blank, and I will make a hard cover for this, and uh, we can just make a quick flip through here. And uh, this is made of all kind of scraps from that box I've just shown you. like these straight edges and again a blank page because it is going to have a hard cover and here and this one so it is all kinds of blues and turquoise blue colors yeah so I will make a cover for you when I measure my book it is uh, 14 point uh, 7 I'm sorry 14 point 7 centimeters that way and that way it is 13 centimeters so I will give I don't want a, a cover who is much bigger than the the book so I will cut a, two squares by 15 centimeters and uh, 13 and uh, 0.3 centimeters the other way. And you can use uh, clipboard or any kind of heavy, heavy cardstock uh, for your book. I just uh, got a, an electric kettle from my mother for Christmas, and um, this is a nice, sturdy kind of cardstock. Uh, I don't, yeah, that's that's nice. So I will use these two here and cut them. For the measurements I just said 15 by 13.3 centimeters and I will be back when I have cut them. I have cut the first one and um, instead of measuring a, lo a whole lot again I will just take my knife and go through here and I don't move that before, I'm sure I've cut all the way through. And again. Have these two pieces, and uh, to be sure, I 
I will place them here and uh, yeah so that's a little border around and that's fine yeah uh, I have been through my deck here of blue prints and I have found these two not the most exciting prints, but I will do a little more embellishment on them when I have made the covers. But uh, I have decided to use these two. So I think I will perhaps lift it a little higher here. Yeah. If you take the first one, I will. Where the most exciting things is happening here, and I think this is the place. So I will just mark a little. At least you have to have two centimeters extra than where your square is so I will just rip it off and again and this is okay on that side and perhaps here a lot of noise and then I will glue this down here and uh, my glue stick is here I will put both glue on the paper and you really have to be heavy-handed to be sure you can also use other kinds of glues and lead mediums and other stuff but um, for the sake of the time and the, the video I will just use this and then on the board here Place it here in the square. It doesn't have to be so exact, but you have to have something to go over here. And then I will take my cloth and really finish it down. Then I will take my scissors and um, I will cut a corner off here, but not all the way down to the peak here or the corner. Make a couple of millimeters free, perhaps like that. I'm just eyeballing it and uh, others may perhaps measure more than I do, but my measurement has its will of its own and yeah. This is nearly square, but if it has been a long side and a small side, I will always glue the smallest side first. So I will take my glue stick again and give this a good amount of glue. And also here on the cardstock. And then I do this, flip it over here, turn it around. And that was 
set and I will do the same on the other end good amount of glue and also here on the cardstock and again turn it this way and raise it down and I can see already now it is beginning to boggle a little so when it's done, I think I will put it under some heavy books. Now, now for the last two sides, oops, um, I will also put a lot of glue here and also here. And now the trick is to put your thinking nails in here and give it a little squeeze here and a little squeeze here and then again turn it over like this and uh, you can see you get really nice corners that way yeah and I will do the same here on the last again I will take my nail and squeeze it in here and turn it around and booty you have a co cover yeah that's nice I will make the other one and be back so here they are the two covers and I will do a little more with them but I will glue them on first and this is really the hardest part of it for, for me because yeah I think it is difficult to place it exact the place where you want it but um, I have tried to use glue stick and I have tried to use PVA glue and other fluid glues and I think the paper buckles too much for my taste afterwards so I will try this time to use double tape double-sided tape i have never done this before but um, i think i will give it a go and i will place the tape on the book itself and not on the cover and i uh, no expert in this so uh, forgive me if I don't succeed when I have learned this lesson and then that lesson isn't the easiest thing either but again practice practice that's the only way to get better so I think this is okay it's not the best there but it will have to do for now and then I think it's the whole thing coming off here. Uh 
Sachen. off and this is the right direction and then I think I will see if I can put it down this way before and again I'm just eyeballing it oh, yeah, this is it <laughs> do the same on the other um, back side and be back gosh i think i succeeded as you can see it fits quite well and also at the back side yeah and the corners are very nice so i'm satisfied with that so i think i will put a little of this um, I don't know it, if it's this tissue or it's manifold paper, but just to give it a little extra. And I think I will use fluid matte medium so the white will disappear into the background. from the middle and out to avoid any bubbles yeah that gives it a little extra and I also have this gray here perhaps we can you put a little gray piece down there not a big one but yeah whoops that was a lot of blue that here yeah and I would let it dry and also do the same on the back so this was the front and you can see there's a black line down here and when I look at my back side there isn't much back so I think I will draw a black line here yeah, and again, I think I will make a square of this tissue here and put it up here. And perhaps there. Yeah, I think there. it and put a um, brush from the middle and out to avoid bubbles and then I also like on the back side would like a little piece of the gray You're never done with your, your book until you put it away. You can keep on working on it. Sometimes if, if I pull a notebook ahead to look at, I think there's missing something and then you can always glue it in. So it's a never ending story. 
probably could be a never ending story. Yeah. So I'm fine with that. And that was the, that was the back. I will let it dry and then I will make a flip through for you. And uh, yeah. So here it is, the finished book. It's not quite dry yet, but I think I will manage to make a flip through. So here is the hardcover and the first two pages out of the first spread. And here. And remember, this is made of scraps the most of the papers are from my scrapbox yeah and then we can come to the back side it is also dry yeah and here there there this one and the last two pages I hope you find though you I hope you found this inspiring and helpful and will give it a chance yourself to put hard covers on your Constantina books. I would also like to mention you can do these kinds of books in any size and with any amount of pages you want. The working way is the same. And you can fill your books with anything you like. I would very much appreciate if you would like and perhaps subscribe to my little Danish channel. channel. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. So take care, stay creative. Until next time. So bye bye for now.